Hello and welcome back to Project Soundboard. My name is Morland Jeans and we're playing a game called Project Soundboard, which some of you might find familiar with my channel saying as how I played it not too long ago, but due to the high demand of me playing this game again, I decided to play it again. Uh, this time showing off the actual intro because I remember in the first episode I didn't uh, show off the intro at all. I just kind of skipped it and went right into the action. But this time we're going to go from the very beginning steps of character creation and map creation. Now there are three different types of uh, game types or survival sandbox last stand we're gonna go with survival because we want to survive and there's Mojo Kentucky and West Point Kentucky I can actually even name the save file uh, which I will go ahead and name YOLO swag hashtag 420 uh, we're gonna hit next here now I can choose my character which as you can see I've already kind of done for myself I feel that Leroy Jenkins will be a suitable uh, opponent for these zombies Seeing as how he has a very high survivability rate. Uh, of course, I might want to maybe play around with his hair a bit. Actually, that looks pretty much good. Uh, you can tell by my voice, if you can't already tell by my voice, but my voice is shot. I lost my voice about five days ago, but uh, yesterday I got it back. And that's enough about me. Let's click next and go into our traits. So last time I picked, I believe, Security Guard, which gave me the uh, Night Owl perk. This time I might pick something a little bit different. I've heard of people going Construction Worker and getting that thick skin as well as handy for faster barricading, which I might consider doing because last time, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, biting had a severe impact on my gameplay. It could be a Park Ranger, I'm not affected by harsh weather conditions, extra or into Now I'm wondering what the harsh weather conditions mean. I'm wondering if I get wet still because does weather still affect me at all? Um, that'd be interesting if it doesn't because rain did play a kind of a bigger part for me. Uh, marksman improved gun accuracy and fire officer improved, I believe, axe abilities. So I think um, I think construction work would be pretty suitable. I like the fact that you have uh, thick skin. It actually gives you two perks, which I don't believe any of the other ones do. Uh, which is pretty nifty. So construction work is definitely cool. Now these things here are the um, available traits. You can pick and choose them. Unfortunately, you have no points to spend at the very beginning. So if you want to get something like, let's say, strong, you have to have minus six points. And the only way to gain points is by uh, giving yourself disabilities, such as uh, being a hypochondriac or hard of hearing and all that garbage. I'm not really sure which one is worse at the moment. Um, I think they're all pretty bad. So, I'm not going to do any of them. I didn't do any of them last time, so I figure not doing any of them again is totally fine. And we're just going to click play. So we can play. And we've already seen the end of times, because this is the same screen that happens every time you launch the game. This is the end times. We all are aware of it. It's a zombie apocalypse. You have to keep reminding us. There's no hope of survival. I'm going to skip this. I'm gonna can, I, can I please skip this? I would really like to skip this. Okay, and here we are. I'm not entirely sure of where here is. Uh, I do have tips that I can look at, which are really useful, uh, such as don't run and things like that with uh, Randy the Raccoon. I'm going to turn this off because I don't need tips. I'm a professional survivalist, as demonstrated by my last run. Um, so this is pretty fun. I actually wanted to play this game again, so I'm glad that you guys wanted to see this action again. I'm starting in a house. I'm not sure where this house is. I'm going to take a quick peek outside just to see what's going on. Uh, we're in a fenced-off area, which is good for us. It means that zombies aren't going to come in here just yet. But this house does look kind of weird. Again, I'm not really sure exactly where I spawned. Empty mug. going to grab this. Uh, and also going to fill it up real quick with some water so we can... Uh, not die of thirst while we're out there killing those zombies. Or the zombies or zeds. I'm not really sure which one to call them. This is a mini fridge. That's cool. Uh, what's in here? Bathroom. Is there a medicine cabinet? Where I can get drugs. And just take drugs the entire time. And check out this. So no normal hiking bag. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. A hiking bag. I'm going to throw this over my back. So I have some extra inventory space. Gives me 20 extra inventory space. Which is really good. Uh, there's actually another one. There's another hiking bag. I'm wondering if I can actually have two of them. Like if I put this on my secondary. Should I have two? Yes, I have now two of them. Which is perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, shoes, cigarettes, sweater. I'm going to throw a sweater on really quick. I'm not sure if that's actually useful for me. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, it's a nifty looking sweater. That's pretty snazzy there, Leroy. Um, what else we got here? Actually, there's three cabinets. I didn't even see that. I thought there was just two. 
Uh, this one doesn't have much. There's a vest here, a nice green vest. That about actually wraps it up for this area. So yeah, Project Zomboid, basically the whole ideal is that it's a very realistic zombie simulator. Um, everything that I've done or everything that I do is pretty on par with real life, I might add, which is why I think there's a, such a big appeal for this game, such as like, you know, food in the fridge and how I have a hunger meter, a thirst meter, things like that. And I really enjoy games like that, so definitely cool that uh, I get to have a second shot at this. So, um, I, you know what? I didn't grab any food from the fridge, which is not that ideal because if I don't grab food, I might die of hunger. And nobody wants to see me die of hunger, right? That would be a pretty sad way to go out. I'm going to grab, actually, most of this food um, because I don't really want to stay in this house seeing as how it looks like shit. Some butter, orange, and peas. And grab all that, and we have a perfect picnic. Let's go down here and see where we are. So, like, as I mentioned, I do have a map up, but it's kind of hard to tell where I am right now. But once I find where I am, it'll be perfect for me, and I'll be able to navigate a little bit better because... Last time when uh, things went downhill really fast, I ended up running down this road for like 20 minutes and I didn't know where the hell I was, uh, which led me to ultimately my doom, spoiler alert. If you couldn't already tell, a second run usually means that something went really bad the first run. But uh, we're past that now. This is this is a clean day, a fresh start for everybody. This is just a zombie chilling in a cow. Oh, he sees me. Okay, we don't want to talk to him. He seems like a bad guy. Now, we're out, it seems like, in the woods somewhere. Um, not sure if I want to go too far into these woods, only because there was a road down there, and the road seems like it would lead to civilization a lot faster than this dirt trail. And I hear zombies going through the woods, which is never a good sign. Zombies in the woods is probably the worst thing that could happen, uh, just because they come out at you, and you don't know where they're coming from, and they're all over you, kissing you and hugging you, and things that zombies do. I'm gonna go up here and see where I'm at. Uh, it's only 12, it seems like. I'm actually getting a lot better reading 24-hour formats now that I've played this game. Okay. Nothing is good over there. I'm gonna go back down to the, uh, to the road, because, uh, I'm not really sure what's up here. I think I've made a mistake by actually going up there. And we're gonna have to sprint past the zombie somehow, so... Using my jukes that I've learned from playing Madden. There we go. Whew. That was pretty close, I might add. Oh, shit. shit. I hear him go through the woods. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. I don't want to go through the woods. <laughs> I really don't want to go through the woods. That's, that's, that's not a good idea at all. I actually probably would have been better off just running down that road, but there was a zombie there, and I just wanted to explore my surroundings a little bit just to see what would happen. Um, also, I'm going to uh, try to be a lot more careful this time because uh, these zombies have a very fast kill potential. Uh, just one grab and you're pretty much dead, which really sucks because, I mean, that's pretty realistic, but that kind of sucks. Like, there's no second chance. You get bit and then four days later, five days later, you're infected. You start crying, puking all over the place. You call your mom, but then she's also dead from the zombie invasion. What is this? I don't know what that is. Looks like a flower patch or something. Looks like a blouse. Maybe there was a zombie wearing a blouse. That'd be pretty cool. Um, oh, okay, so there's houses down here, uh, which kind of look familiar, a little bit. Uh, there's also zombies down here. What is this? Unpleasantly hot. Consider resting somewhere less exposed, thirst increased. Well, so this area has like desert-like properties for some reason. That's kind of strange. I don't think I've seen that before. There's nothing here. Um, so unfortunately, this seems like the only house here. It seems kind of dangerous to try to go into this one. So I'm going to go ahead and not do that. Um, yeah, yeah, there's definitely zombies. I could hear them uh, inside. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can actually remove my sweater. Because uh, I don't really want to be unpleasantly hot. And uh, there's the... Okay, yeah, so that area down there seemed to be a lot more... Uh, a lot hotter for some reason. So I'm wondering what that's all about. That's probably... Just a hot area, I guess. The sun hits it exactly at the right angle. I'm not really sure what to go off of. Again, this is the first time I've actually seen that debuff, so that's pretty interesting. But I don't really want to have uh, the same old stuff happen again. So having new stuff is definitely pretty cool. Uh, another house up here. Another zombie down there. Just trying to find a perfect little place to sort of camp out. Because when it turns night, I don't want to be out here. Oh, that was apparently really spooky. Okay, that was kind of spooky. That zombie was just sitting in the tree waiting for somebody, maybe the mailman, to come by so it could snatch him up. Um, 
I actually wonder what would happen to the mailman around here. Did they do a paper route that went really bad? They should probably make a movie about that, actually. That'd be a pretty cool movie. A paper route gone bad. Arnold Schwarzenegger starting in Mailman. What happened in here? Hello? Uh, so, not sure about this. Only because, number one, blood in the wall. And two, zombie chasing after me. I was going to say 12 o'clock because it's behind me, but that's more like, uh, I don't know, 7, 6.30 down there. Um, not having a lot of luck with this whole zombie thing. Uh, this kind of sucks because I'm trying to avoid them and just find a house that I can loot. But because there's so many of them out here right now, it's kind of really hard. So, uh, the only thing I can think of doing is to find a house and just try to barge into it. But that creates more problems because if there's zombies inside, now I have zombies outside and zombies inside. So, trying to find the perfect place to sort of loot right now and it's really not working out for me. This kind of sucks. And that guy's already pissed off at me. I'm actually wondering what that's all about. Can you guys please just chill out? That house up there looks a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can just sneak around the back. Maybe do a little bit of work. I'll have to be kind of quick about it, so... Come on. Come on, barge in! Any of them? Come on. They're coming! They're coming for you, man! Uh, that one's already... Uh, I wasn't fast enough. If I was a little bit faster, I could have got the job done, but... Leroy, you're kind of disappointing me here. You gotta break into those houses a lot faster than you already are. So this is the, the rental area, or the... Not the rental area, the, um... What do you call them? Trailer park homes. And, uh... The only thing that sucks about these is that I'm pretty sure they have alarms which go off the second you try to do anything. So that kind of sucks. And I already hear like zombies banging inside some of them. I'm not having a lot of luck with this whole uh, zombie thing again. I think I've already said this. Uh, let me see. This is what? Nope. This is closed. Is this open? Please? Oh! It opened. And there is a zombie coming in. So, I'm going to see if I can do this real quick. Nope. Please go in. Please go in. Okay. Alright. You've created problems for me, zombie. Oh, are you... No. I thought she lost aggro for a second. But she still has aggro. And she's going to be bashing her head through that for a little bit, so, uh... Oh, shit. What the hell? Oh, shit! Oh, God! Oh, <laughs> Oh, my God! <laughs> Jesus! Okay, so that was really bad. <laughs> oh my god, good thing I heard that. I thought that was the, like the the one bitch down there trying to break her head into the window, but no, that one just snuck around the back. Oh my god, Splinter Cell Zombie. All right, so he sees me. That actually looks like a really nice house. Like if I was gonna break into this house, this is no, this is the house that I would break into. But this is just oh fuck. Oh my god. Okay. These zombies are not having any of my shit. They're legitimately just not... They're not dealing with me at all. And that area doesn't look very good either. Oh. Hi, you came out of the woods. Hello. You're pretty fast. Okay. I'm a little bit faster. That's cool. I'm thirsty. This sucks. Okay. So. Uh, one thing I found out is that, uh... Lots of zombies on this map already. I don't actually remember this many zombies being- No, my first run, there was no zombies. There was like one neighbor zombie, and I started out with a bat, so I dealt with him in like the first minute. But now there's like a goddamn apocalypse happening here, which I have no idea why that is. Like every house is like taken over by like 50 zombies. Like they're having a goddamn Project X out here. Alright. It seems to me that I've actually, uh... Pulled most of them away, so maybe, maybe I can make something happen real quick. I don't think these big windows open up. I think actually the little ones do. And there's 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 a zombie in there. There is a zo confirmed zombie inside trailer home. Okay, so everything that could go wrong with that pretty much went wrong. That zombie's already coming after me. And there's a lot of zombies here. There's like there's an and it's raining. Okay. Okay, we may be in luck right now. Maybe. If I can get into this house and no alarm goes off. Okay. 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 Let's see here. Please, no. Are you? <laughs> Why? I really want there to be a weapon here. I'm afraid of what's inside this house. Some of you might be wondering why am I afraid? Um... 
because I, I don't see anything in here right now and I don't have a weapon. I have a cup. I'll equip this cup into my hand. That's not my primary. That's, that's my secondary. If I can equip it into my primary. Okay, there we go. I got a cup in my hand. That's not going to do anything for me. <laughs> that's that's not gonna, that's legitimately not gonna do anything for me. A cup in my hand, um, anything in my bag that I can just like kill him with. I'm I'm really scared for my life right now. Can I use a yo-yo? Like, can I can I equip the yo-yo and just? Nah, shit, this sucks. I don't know what's up. Please tell me there's nothing. Oh, thank God. Okay, okay, that was kind of risky already. Where was the sheet? Put the sheet in my. Box inventory. I'm, I'm my main inventory legitimately looks like a cardboard box. I'm wondering if I'm just carrying a cardboard box around. I'm gonna add this sheet to the stupid wall so no zombies see me. Probably would have been better adding it to this one here. Um, there's oh, wait a minute, there's something over here. Pants. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna sneak in here real quick. A lighter might want to grab that. Another empty mug. Can I just fill fill both the empty mugs really quick? Just take a drink as well. Okay. Oh shit, please tell me there's none of them out here. Okay. And this is a really dangerous situation, just all together. Not good at all. I'm gonna go back inside my little safe area. I hear one zombie banging. I don't know where it is. I'm wondering if it's outside or not, because if it's near this door down here and I'm going to bed, that creates all kinds of problems for me. I hear it. I'm wondering if it's like the house next door or something. Legit, if this if this thing is banging on this front door, I'm screwed. Tonight, 100% dead. 100%. Not even like not even like 20%, not even like 99%. I'm not sure what 20% has to do with this, but I don't have a weapon. I have a lighter that I may be able to light a zombie on fire with, but I, I put I very much doubt that. Oh shit. Alright, the knocking the knocking has stopped. Okay. I might be going to bed tonight safely. This is a pretty nice bet, it's like a Queen, Queen's Hazard, I don't know. Anyways, my name is Morley you guys. Thank you so much for watching Project Zomboid. I will try to do these more in the future. Again, I put the word try in there because sometimes um, I lose my voice for an entire week and that happens. But uh, more to come, obviously. And uh, Leroy is going to go to bed and we're going to see what happens next. I'm I'm pretty scared for my life. My, I'm, I'm, they broke in, the, they broke in. They broke inside the house. They broke inside the house. They broke inside the house. Oh shit. Oh shit, they broke in the house. They broke in the house. They broke in the house. Fuck! They broke in the house! Shit. Shit, they broke in. Oh no! 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 Why is this happening? <laughs>